Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to see dividing numbers by 10, 100 and 1000 in class 4. You could call this as a pattern division because we are not going to divide by the usual method. We know that division is one of the mathematical operations on numbers. Let us go into the details of this video and understand how to divide by 10, 100 and 1000. First, when a number is divided by 10, the digit in the ones place is the reminder. The rest of the digits make up the quotient. Let us understand this with the help of an example. 54 divided by 10. What does the rule say? The digit in the ones place is the reminder. Let us draw a line after the ones place. This will help us easily identify the quotient and the reminder. When you divide by 10, the digit in the ones place, which is 4, in this case is the reminder. The rest of the digits make up the quotient. In this case, the remaining digit is 5. So, reminder is 4 and quotient is 5. Let us do another example. 679 divided by 10. So, when you divide by 10, you will have to draw a line after the ones place, which means the digit in the ones place is a reminder and the remaining digits is the quotient. Here the reminder is 9 and the quotient is 67. Hope you have understood this concept. Next, let us understand how to divide by 100. When a number is divided by 100, the digit in the tens and ones place is a reminder. The rest of the digits make up the quotient. Let us do this with the help of an example. We have 648 divided by 100. What does the rule say? When you divide by 100, the digit in the tens and ones place is a reminder. So let us draw a line after the tens place for easy understanding. When you divide by 100, the digit in the tens and the ones place is a reminder. Here 48 is in the tens and ones place, so the reminder is 48 and the remaining digits make up the quotient. What is the remaining digit? 6 is the remaining digit. So the reminder is 48 and the quotient is 6. Let us take another example. Here we have a 4 digit number 5593 divided by 100. As per the rules, let us draw a line after the tens place. So the digit in the tens and the ones place is the reminder. So the reminder is 93 and the quotient is 55. Now let us next understand division by 1000. When a number is divided by 1000, the digit in the hundreds, tens and ones place is a reminder. The rest of the digits make up the quotient. Let us take the example of a four digit number 3459 divided by 1000. So here we should draw a line after the hundreds place and the digit in the hundreds, tens and ones place will be the reminder when you divide by 1000. So the reminder here is 459. The rest of the digits make up the quotient. What are the rest of the digits here? We have 3. So the quotient is 3 and the reminder is 459. Let us take another example. 2008 divided by 1000. So where should I draw the line? I should draw the line after the hundreds place. So the digit in the hundreds, tens and ones place is the reminder. So what do we have here? The reminder is 008 or 8. And the quotient is 2. Hope you have understood so far. Now let us do multiple sums by using the pattern to divide to quickly see if we have understood the concepts. 92 divided by 10. So draw a line after the ones place. The reminder is 2 and quotient is 9. We have a three digit number 109 divided by 100. Why should I draw the line? Yes, after the tens place. So the reminder is 9 
and the quotient is 1. The next sum that we are going to do is 7128 divided by 1000. So where should I draw the line? I should draw the line after the hundreds place. So the reminder is 128 and the quotient is 7. The next sum we have is 350 divided by 10. Draw a line after the ones place. So the reminder is 0 and the quotient is 35. Next, 6938 divided by 100. I should draw the line after the tens place so that the reminder will be 38 and the quotient is 69. The last number that we have here is 5237 divided by 1000. Draw a line after the hundreds place. So the reminder is 237 and the quotient is 5. Hope you have understood the concept so far. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 4 under the topic division. The first topic that we saw in the first video was a quick revision of the division concept that the children have learned so far up to class 4. In the second video, we did division of a four digit number by a single digit number where we got four digit quotients, three digit quotients and we even saw a shortcut in a special case kind of division. Now in this third video, we understood how to divide by 10, 100 and 1000 using the pattern division method. In the upcoming videos, we will be seeing properties of division, dividing by a two digit number, estimating the quotient, dividing by a two digit number with single digit quotient, dividing by a two digit number with two digit quotient. Then we will deal with dividing three digit numbers by greater two digit numbers. Then we will see dividing four digit numbers by two digit numbers. After that, we will be dealing with division of money, story sums applying division, and mix it story sums because now children would have learned addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So we will be doing mixed story sums applying all the four operations. And then we will do as usual the mental math sums and a quick division worksheet to revise all that the children have learned in class 4. I'll be dealing with each of these topics in separate videos and link to all the related videos will be given below in the description box for, with proper naming conventions and also in the iCard section I will be linking all the related videos. Thank you for watching my video. If you like the quality of my videos, do give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button to get regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. See you again.